people. Just finished my half hour cardio in the evening. It's about 10.30. Done 15 minutes on the cross trainer, 15 minutes on the stepper. Um, it's about to have my final meal. Almonds, 28 grams of almonds. Um, roasted, tastes good. Gonna devour that and then hit the sack. Ready to wake up again in approximately eight eight hours no five hours and head off for an hour cardio followed by a leg session tomorrow so um yeah that's it from me today another again a short one good day today uh spoke with coach we was gonna do another refeed today but kind of suggested um we after more analysis we thought yeah we'll give it another four or five days or so and then kind of see where we're at in terms of that um gonna wear myself tomorrow so i'll let you guys know pretty much just wanna just wanna get it going just wanna get it going um it's tiring now it's kicking in but you know what they say you gotta keep pushing them and that's what we're doing so we're gonna have my almonds uh, my digestive enzymes and then hit the sack so yeah talk to you guys tomorrow afternoon another day another step closer um, morning weight today is 176.2 pounds which is good, we on track. Um, so yeah, feeling good. Cardio this morning complete, an hour, um, low intensity. And now we're off to hit legs. Big leg session coming up, uh, loads of drop sets. That's gonna be brutal. But that's what we like, we like brutal. Brutal's good. Um, what else do I have to say? Basically, Feeling good, feeling positive, feeling tired, definitely. Um, and I, ah, and yeah, it's kind of like two weeks out. Um, there's not. Let's take, let's do it this way. At the moment, it feels like the only energy I have is is it's very minimal. Like I have energy to train. Uh, like I literally just have energy to for my cardio and my training, and just pretty much doing simple day-to-day -day tasks. Um, which is a reason why I've kind of not overloaded myself with too much, too much work with one-to-one um, -one clientele training and they understand the reason why and we will resume once my comp's over because I always want to deliver the best kind of service possible um, I want to be 100% focused on clients when it comes to them which I am in perspective I just feel at the moment if I have any more than two or three in a day I'm kind of, yeah, the third one, and especially if it's at the end of the day, I'm going to be a bit impatient and a bit on the checking the watch time, um, sort of bit of thing. So, yeah, they know that, and they're still, obviously, they're still going to be checking in online, etc. but just to kind of help me and them, um, one to one time is cut until after so probably beginning back um about a week after my comp so starting in november we'll get them all back and running but this is pretty much just going out to you guys just to let you know um how i feel and how much of a battering this can be um but this is the price we pay um and why we do i do it i love it um and I love my clients as well. I love my clients actually give me a load of support. I just love that. They give they kind of make me be 
be better and keep me kind of focused on the because they're like wow like two weeks left you're looking good man um yeah i'm excited for you they they what i love about my clients is they seem so excited they seem more excited than me which just makes me kick ass like when they're like damn like you got you got two weeks well not in that accent but they're like damn you got two weeks i'm like yeah of course i've got two weeks bro but it's just one of them things that the boost they give me positivity just flows through and even non-clients like just the people that i'm talking to on a day-to-day -day basis i mean like you guys rock you guys are you guys are what get me through and i'm glad i know of you i wouldn't say i know everyone because knowing someone is completely different um but i know of you and i'm glad that you've kind of you've been a part eh? a lot of people like, i haven't, haven't helped you in this journey i'm gonna like, trust me have back even if i've spoke to you once you've probably helped me do something that i may not have done or may have done half-heartedly or you you know what i'm trying to say but yeah there's a lot of people that i'm thankful for that have kind of helped me um a bit of a soppy one um but it's true guys like guys and girls you've all something there's always something that it day to day inspires me and it just keeps me focused like i have to i have to be thankful that i'm able to do what i'm able to do um and that i'm able to give back in an industry that has helped me and kind of share my knowledge share my expertise and just help a load of other people that have come from sort of a in terms of nutrition and training aspect they've kind of come from that same dilemma same background as me um especially when it comes to uh eating so low calories and wanting to be in great shape you have to kind of sacrifice something at some point and to the people that trust my word that i know what i'm doing and that i can help you they're the guys that mean a lot to me even the guys that don't I don't blame you, but yeah, those ones that do mean a great, great, great deal to me and I'm thankful. So yeah, heading into leg day and we're just going to get it done, pretty much. So I shall try and get some footage, but I will catch up with you guys soon.